I'm Bronco, and this is the Card of the Day calendar for Sunday, August 14th. Today is National Creamsicle Day. And a special shout out to Jason VT Sports Guy who left a comment talking about that. Today's episode is dedicated, by the way, to my friend Big Juan, who got married yesterday. Congratulations, buddy. Now, I'll remind you that all the scores and highlights are on the screen right there on the right side for you to enjoy from yesterday's action in Major League Baseball. Now let's move on to history. On this day in 1973, Don Baylor lets his bat get hit by a pitch for a change. All jokes aside, he goes 5-for-5 five five to lead Baltimore to a 12-10 victory over Texas. He was on a roll as that gave him nine hits over his past two games. Baylor, who would lead the league in hit by pitches for the first of eight times in his career that season, batted 286 with 11 homers and 51 RBIs in 73. The shocking thing to me, he stole seven or 32 bases that year. I don't remember him as a speedster. And he would swipe 285 bags in a 19-year career. Also on this day, let's talk about Kong's Dong. I'm talking about Dave Kingman who blasted a 515-foot homer on this day in 1981. It was the longest blast ever estimated at Shea Stadium, and it was hit against Larry Christensen. Unfortunately, while Kingman crushes one towards South America, the Mets drop an 8-4 decision to Philadelphia. If you know where that was a reference to, go ahead and leave a comment on this video. Great movie. Birthdays on this day. The Bird, Mark Fidrich. Born on this day in 1954, one of the most memorable players in modern history. I can't even put into words what it was like to watch him pitch. So after this video, do yourself a favor and check out some footage of him from 1976. There's plenty on YouTube. When he made a scintillating debut, he was the Rookie of the Year going 19-9 for the Tigers with a 2.34 ERA and get this, 24 complete games and 29 starts. Unfortunately, his arm fell off after that. I'm not really kidding. After the car show I went to yesterday, I had a family function, and I really should have had them try to pronounce this name. Mark Gubaza turned 60 today, and he claimed 132 victories with a 3.96 ERA and a 14-year career spent with Kansas City and one lonely year with the Angels at the very end. And Mark Loretta turns 51 today, a versatile player that was a fan favorite with the Brewers, he went on to be an all-star after leaving Milwaukee. Hmm, I think I've heard that one before. Being selected for the all-star team in 2004 for San Diego and 2006 for Boston. In 15 years, Lowe batted 295 with 1,713 hits for the Brewers, Padres, Astros, Dodgers, and Red Sox. August is 1989 Donruss Month, and today we're going to feature Wally Joyner, the first baseman with the sweet left-handed swing had more than 2,000 hits and 204 home runs in a 16-year career. Somehow he made the All-Star team just once, and that came in his rookie year of 1986. In 1989 for the Angels, he batted 282 with 30 doubles, 16 homers, and 79 RBIs. This has been the Card of the Day calendar. I'm Bronco. Congratulations, Big Juan. Sports out.